and we are back for another episode of Let's Play. Fe of, wow, I was about to say Phoenix, right? Excuse me. First, Layton versus Ace Attorney. Uh, that's where we left off. We are in search of a speller who got taken away by a witch. So let's see if uh, Inspector Chalmy has anything for us to. any information for us. Hey, you there! This area is off limits! Only Scotland Yard's personnel allowed, personnel allowed here. Hang on. Oh, it's you, Leighton. What are you two doing here? It's been a while, Inspector Tell me. Has there been some kind of incident? <laughs> well, more of an incident. More of an accident than an incident. Over there, a motor vehicle has been heavily damaged. A heavily damaged vehicle, you say? That sounds rather serious. But I doubt that a Scotland Yard inspector would be involved in something as mundane as a simple traffic accident. Is there perhaps something unusual about this particular accident? <sighs> as always, you're quick to pick up on the finer points. I should say there's something unusual. In fact, I've never seen no hold of an accident as unusual as this one. Barton! Would you leave the talking to me? Yes, sir! Of course, sir! An unusual accident. Unusual in what way, precisely? Hmm. Don't go concerning yourself with it. It's the job of the police to solve this case. You never know, Inspector. I may just be able to help you solve it. What are you saying? Even I don't have all the facts yet. Clues just aren't that easy to come by, you know. Unless you're Professor Leighton. Yes, we've got nothing so far. In fact, I'm sure we could use a helping hand. Oi, Barton! I thought I told you. I'll do all the talking. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Just a moment. <sighs> I've got it. Hey, Leighton. What is it, Inspector? I, uh, well... That is to say, if you're so keen on getting involved, why not go and take a look for yourself? Tell me? Telling me? Is he telling Leighton to actually look? Okay. That was a sudden change of heart. It was, Luke. But a welcome one, wouldn't you say? Very well, Inspector. I will have a look. The vehicle is just up ahead there, is it? Is it? <laughs> yes, it is. It's in the park just over there, if you know what I mean. The park is fairly big, so it's quite easy to lose your way. <sighs> I suppose I'll have to explain, but listen up, I'm only saying this once. When you want to go somewhere else, move, touch the move icon in the bottom right corner. Touch this to change from investigation mode to movement mode. The places you can move to are the places indicated by red markers. Touch search after moving to go back into investigation mode. Incidentally, you're free to move to any location indicated by a red marker. This is a convenient way of moving since you can move a ah, excuse me. Since you can move a great distance with only a single touch. That's kinda creepy. <laughs> Look at the map and touch our desired location. That's right, isn't it, Inspector? That's right. Now so now that you know what to do, why don't you go and take a look? Oh, but don't forget, if you find anything, be sure to come and let me know. We'll be waiting to hear from you. Professor, I think the unusual accident was the, they were talking about. Indeed. It could well have something to do with our own investigation. Let's go and take a look at the scene of the accident, Luke. We may find some clues. Right you are, Professor! Well... Okay, before we do that, <laughs> when I hear back from them, I may just be able to make something of this case. With the backlog of cases I've got piled up, I have to take help where where I can get it. Where I can get it. Ah, uh, British, tell me. Ah. Uh, we're not going to go there yet, because Barton, I think, has a extra puzzle we can do. Whoop. This is serious. Yes, it seems serious, Constable Barton. I feel sorry for the victims. Bits and pieces all over the place. Wh what? The hamburger I bought for my lunch, it's all in pieces. A complete mess. 
This is serious! Oh, I get it! You are talking about your hamburger! I've been trying to draw it up on my notepad, but I can't seem to get it right. Because of this, I just can't seem to concentrate on the case. Barton, please. That is serious. No, it's not! Leave it to me! I'll soon have it sorted out for you! <laughs> this is really a puzzle. <laughs> Barton's burger! So obviously the... What we're supposed to do here is to put the... Uh, the, sa the burger back together again. It's a jigsaw puzzle kind of puzzle. <laughs> Don't forget to get the ketchup on the burger just right. So, yes, the ketchup on the burger is actually a hint as to where you need to put the pieces. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to do this real quickly. Mm, nope. Go. Uh, there goes up here. No, I don't think that goes there. Pretty obvious I haven't done this in a while. Wait. Wait. Ah! There we go! All done. <laughs> a very <laughs> weird burger. <laughs> oh, let me do the next one too. <laughs> Alright, Luke. Wonderful. Consider this delicious investigation closed. Hamburgers back in one piece. Now you can give your all to the investigation! Yes. At least I can concentrate. Not on the hamburger, but on the case. Mm. Mm. Take care not to upset the inspector. <laughs> Pardon, please. Alright. Now we move to the next location. There are three hint coins here. Professor, look over there! There's a car up in that tree! Hmm. This certainly is out of the ordinary. I've never seen anything quite like it. Like Constable Barton said, it seems extremely unusual. I mean, how on earth could something like this happen? Hmm. We'll, have, we'll need to investigate this closely. Let's take a closer look at the car. We'll do that in a second. One hint coin. That's two. Two hint coins. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, and three. <laughs> okay, cool. Got them all. Alright, let's uh, check out this car. That's been smacked around by the Wump and Willow. The more I see it, the stranger this looks. It's as if the car just flew up there. Alright, let's go get a Weasley. It's certainly taking some damage. You don't think... Could the witches have done this? It's certainly possible. It would appear the accident occurred only moments ago. Hmm. Wait. What's that mark on the car? Ahem, excuse me, gentlemen. Yes, you two. Would you just stop right there? I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to leave. This is the scene of an accident, and we haven't finished investigating it yet. As you can no doubt see, it's all rather mysterious. We don't have yet no we don't yet know the exact cause of this here mishap. Not a safe place for spectators, I'm afraid. I'll have to ask you both to move along. We're not spectators. We've been given permission from Inspector Xiaomi. From the Inspector, you'll say? So you're officially here then, are you? In what capacity, may I ask? Well, not officially as such. The name's Herschel Layton, and I sound like Master Splinter. I mean, I'm an archaeologist. You're pulling my leg. You mean to tell me that you're the famous Professor Layton? Now that you mention it, you certainly do resemble the good professor. Of course!
course he does! He is the professor! So, Constable, if you don't mind, may we investigate a little closer? I've been put in charge here, so I can't afford to be wrong about this. For all I know, you might just be impersonating Professor Layton. What? Oh, come on! If you're the real Professor Layton, then I'm sure you have no trouble solving this little puzzle that I just happen to have here. Sounds interesting. Let me see what you have. Alright, take a look at this! <sighs> Puzzles. Oh, this puzzle! Okay, uh... <laughs> God damn this puzzle. It's kind of straightforward. So... The Tolka police force is assisting a museum to increase its security. The guards' torches allow them to spot anything up to three squares away. Do your best not to be seen and sneakily make your way out of the room. Torches, by the way, is the British variation of flashlight. Because for some reason they never fix the text in this game to make it more Americanized. And I, you know, I have to wonder why the delay before we got this game if they haven't bothered to change anything. But anyway. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Just try to get to the end. Oops. Uh, I'll remember how to do this in a bit. Oh, okay, I turned too soon. There we go. <laughs> ah, that's the one thing about this game, this particular one. There's an awful lot of trial and error with this game. Ah. Oh, I can't go. Oh, oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. We're out of here. Allow me to show you my puzzle-solving skills. Boom! Ah, the joy of solving puzzles. Well done! You've managed to stay hidden in the darkness and make it out. Thank you. Thank you. That's it! You solved it! Judging by the way you solved that puzzle, there's no doubt that you must be the one and only Professor Layton. Of course, from the very start I had a very good idea that it was you, Professor. From the very start, you seem to have your doubts, Constable. Well, anyway, feel free to investigate as you wish. But, uh, there is one last thing. Yes? Later, when you've managed to s uh, fr you mad- <sighs> Later, when you've got a free moment, would you mind signing my helmet? Are you sure that's allowed? Hmm. Come on- <sighs> Thought that was Luke. Come on, Luke. Let's take a look around before the Constable changes his mind. <laughs> And that is her reaction to everything. <sighs> Tell me, Luke, did you notice anything strange when we looked at the car? Anything strange? Well, to be honest, the entire accident is pretty unusual. Well, yes, but if we're supposed if we're to suppose this accident occurred naturally, then there is one particular mark that should not be there. A mark that shouldn't be there? Ah Professor! The handprint! There's a handprint on the bonnet! British people actually called the front of a car bonnet? <laughs> well spotted, Luke. But a handprint of that sign is too big to be left by a normal person. Indeed. It would almost appear to have been left by the hand of a giant. That's a bit far-fetched. Hmm. Luke, let's look around a little more. Isn't there anything in this park that grabs your attention? But Professor, from here I can't see anything strange other than that car. In situations like this, we need to zoom in, Luke. Zoom in? In cases where something is too far away or is hidden from behind other, another object, we can zoom in to see it more clearly. When you see something of interest, use the magnifying glass to look closer. When the magnifying glass turns blue, it means there's something important there. By zooming in, we may just be able to uncover some new clues. Okay, Professor, I'll zoom in right now. When the magnifying glass turns blue, just touch the area, right? That's right, Luke. Now then, let's give it a try. Uh, 
The statue. Hey, that statue's hand. It's about the same size as the handprint on the car. Do you think the car hit that hand when it crashed? That is a possibility, of course. However, the handprint on the car is a right handprint, Luke. Right hand? But the statue is holding a spear in its right hand. Which means, that couldn't be where the handprint came from. Quite right, my boy. And it would certainly appear that this is more than a simple traffic accident. I wonder what could have happened if the handprint was made by the statue. Surely the statue couldn't have moved. I'm positive there's some kind of secret behind this, and whatever it may be, we can be certain it's related to the witch that took Espella. I think so too, Professor. How else could this, ac this kind of accident have occurred? If we investigate more closely, perhaps we'll find some clues. No, Luke. First, we should head back to see the inspector. Really? But all he seems to say is how unusual it seems. Well, yes. However, there is one more subject about which I would like to ask him. Oh? What's that? Not what, my boy, but rather, who? Who was in the car when it crashed? Uh-uh. Let's find out. So, what do you think? It's no simple accident, is it? I'll bet this one's even surprised the great Professor Layton, hasn't it? Without doubt, this is no ordinary accident. May I ask how the driver was? Hmm, he wasn't seriously injured. He's a real jammy dodger, that one. In fact, we're about, to, I, we're about to take him into custody for questioning. Strictly private, I'm afraid. Inspector Chelmy, there's something I would like to know. What's that, then? The driver's name. Was it, by any chance, Carmen Accidente? 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 Eh? How the devil? Where did you get that information? <laughs> well, you could just say a little bird told me. He's something of an unlucky yet lucky type, always getting himself into trouble, only to have miraculously escaped unharmed. An acquaintance of yours, is he? He attended my lectures a few years back. An outstanding student. Is that so? Well, perhaps you should have lectured him on how to stay out of trouble. We've had our eye on him for some time. He's a bit of a maverick, that detective. Always sniffing out dangerous situations and poking his nose into trouble. Unlucky isn't the half of it. I tell you, I wasn't surprised to find him involved in this ruckus. Hmm. Professor, that means... This must be the ac the incident in which Carmen was attacked. Yes, it would seem so. What's this? Know something I don't, do you? No, no. Nothing at all, Inspector. I was hoping you might just come up with something I could use. Never mind. Now I've got that detective, I may be able to wring something from him. I'd really like to know how much an accident occurred. How such an accident occurred. How much? Inspector. Just one other question. Is there any evidence that to suggest that Carmen was not alone in that car? What's that? Someone else in the car? No, there's nothing to suggest that. Is that so? Well, was there anything else unusual about the accident you haven't mentioned? Anything else unusual? Hmm. No, not as far as I'm aware. Wait a minute, we did see those strange people in Halloween costumes. Hmm? Oi, Barton! Like I said before, I... Wow, did I just go south with him? <laughs> like I said before, I'll do the talking. Yes, Inspector. Sorry, Inspector. These people in Halloween costumes. Can you tell me anything about them? <laughs> You're certainly persistent, Layton. To be honest with you, I don't think they had anything to do with it. We saw a group of them loitering around the Tower Bridge. I decided to question them, but when I took my eyes off them for a second, they just disappeared. I wonder what it blazes they were up to, wandering around dressed like that. When precisely was this? Just a moment ago. About the same time you went to the park. 
Halloween costumes? Professor, could it be... Hmm, I see what you mean. It seems we may have a lead. Thank you for your help, Inspector! Now, hold on! Just what's this all about? Well, we seem to have to come to the right place, all right. Yes, it would appear the witches attacked Spella and Carmen in the park before coming after Spella and abducting her from my office. Following that, they must have made their way from there to the Tower Bridge. We may still catch up with them if we hurry. Let's go! New destination! And a new mystery! Okay! <laughs> the professor's former student, Carmen Akshia... I... Accidenti! who gave Estella a letter for the professor, was involved in a car crash while they were being pursued by witches. What was he investigating in Labyrinthia? The news of Carmen's accidents came as a shock, but at least he survived. I would like to have discussed things with him. I think it's for Carmen A. Com Carmen A or something like that? I'm just saying Carmen because it's easier for me. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it was Carmen A. Carmen A. Carmen A? Okay, to the Tower Bridge. That's not ominous at all. There's no one here. This is puzzling. I'd normally expect to see more people here at this time. Uh... Well, it is kind of storming outside. I, don't, I can understand why no one want to be out here. It must be the bad weather. I guess no one wants to go out in this. There you go. Thank you, Luke. That could be it. Although, I'm also sensing something of a peculiar presence in the air. Hey, Professor! Don't talk like that! Whoa! Th that made me jump! Luke, over there. Oh. Spoopy. Yikes! What was that? I bet it was one of them, Professor. Oh, pff. I bet it was one of them, Professor. Let's follow it. Just a moment, Luke. There's something we should review before we go running off. The method of entering a building is a little different to that of a regular movement. Sometimes, when moving the magnifying glass during investigation mode, the cursor will change to a yellow arrow. This indicates a means of direct entry. You can also enter while in movement mode. Simply touch Enter to do so. Touch the yellow arrow in investigation mode, or enter in movement mode, right? That's it, my boy. Try not to forget. Alright then, let's make haste. Let's not! I need hint coins. Uh, I remember they were kind of a pain to find on this one. Okay, there's one there. I think the moon got one. Two? I think the other one has the third one? Where's the third one? Ah! Three! What the? That thing just disappeared! Into thin air? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I certainly don't feel that same presence as I did just a moment ago. Hey, Professor! What's that? Wait, is that... Professor, it's Estella's cloak! Yes, it certainly looks like the cloak she was wearing. Estella, where could she have gone? Hmm? Luke, take a look at that, on the wall there, just next to the cloak. Eh? Hey, that's some kind of mysterious pattern engraved there. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Indeed, I believe this may demand closer investigation. Sure, but let me grab hint coins. <laughs> Two, three. There we go. Done. And let's examine this wall. What do you think this pattern is all about? Well, I can't say it's a pattern I've ever seen before. I wonder what a mark like this could be doing here. Wait a second. 
That figure disappeared right around here, didn't it? That's right. Not to mention that Spello's cloak is lying right here in front of this wall. Without doubt, there must be some kind of clue here as to Espella's whereabouts. Let's check it out! Uh, wait. Can you hear something? Professor! The wall's moving! Suddenly a puzzle! Very straightforward. Put all the pieces where they should be. You have to drag them. I thought I can just click and move them, but you gotta drag them. Okay, let's, uh... Can I, like, move? Stop that. No, I want to go... Ah, oh, this is annoying. I don't think this thing likes to react to the stylus very well. Stop that. I want you to go up. There. Oi. Now that was a pain in the butt. Hold on a minute. There we go. It's kind of a really stubborn puzzle. Okay. It's, it's, no, I don't want the memo pad. There we go. Very, it's a very easy puzzle. It's just a little bit weird with the stylus. All finished. Allow me to show you my puzzle solving skills. You should expect no less from a gentleman. Look, Professor, the, the wall. this now? Ouch, ouch, ouch. Luke. Bless you, Luke. <laughs> Are you all right, Luke? Uh, yes. Huh? Huh? What is this place? What's a place like this doing behind the wall? It appears to have been here for some time. I wonder who could have made this place, and why? It's so dark, I can barely see. Oh, Espella! Professor, we've got to search for Espella! Indeed, she could be here somewhere. Although... So could that witch. Precisely. We should proceed with caution. Okay. <laughs> well, she's right there, but um, we're running out of time, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just find all the hint coins so we will be ready for the next video. There's three in here, too, I think, so. Just gotta find it. I think the other one's in the cogs. There we go. Hey, there we go! So, next part of the video, we're going to, uh, well, figure out if Espella is okay over there in the corner. And hopefully won't be chased by witches by then. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And we are back for another episode of Let's Play... Fe of, wow, I was about to say Phoenix Wright, excuse me. Professor Layton vs. Ace Attorney! Uh, that's where we left off. We are in search of a Spella who got taken away by a witch. So let's see if uh, Inspector Chalmy has anything for us to... Any information for us. Oi, you there! This area is off limits! 
only Scotland Yard's personnel allowed, personnel allowed here. Hang on. Oh, it's you, Leighton. What are you two doing here? It's been a while, Inspector, tell me. Has there been some kind of incident? <laughs> well, more of an incident. More of an accident than an incident. Over there, a motor vehicle has been heavily damaged. A heavily damaged vehicle, you say? That sounds rather serious. But I doubt that a Scotland Yard inspector would be involved in something as mundane as simple traffic accident. Is there perhaps something unusual about this particular accident? <sighs> yes, it seems serious, Constable Barton. I feel sorry for the victims. Bits and pieces all over the place. What? The hamburger I bought for my lunch, it's all in pieces. A complete mess. This is serious. Oh, I get it. You are talking about your hamburger. I've been trying to draw it up on my notepad, but I can't seem to get it right. Because of this, I just can't seem to concentrate on the case. Barton, please. That is serious. No, it's not. Leave it to me. I'll soon have it sorted out for you. <laughs> this is really a puzzle. <laughs> Barton's burger. So obviously, the what we're supposed to do here is to put the uh the sa the burger back together again. It's a jigsaw puzzle kind of puzzle. <laughs> Don't forget to get the ketchup on the burger just right. So yes, the ketchup on the burger is actually a hint as to where you need to put the pieces. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Real that is to say, if you're so keen on getting involved, why not go and take a look for yourself? Tell me? Telling me? Is he telling Leighton to actually look? Okay. That was a sudden change of heart. It was, Luke. But a welcome one, wouldn't you say? Very well, Inspector. I will have a look. The vehicle is just up ahead there, is it? Is it? Yes, it is. It's in the park just over there, if you know what I mean. The park is fairly big, so it's quite easy to lose your way. <sighs> I suppose I'll have to explain. But listen up, we're only saying this once. When you want to go somewhere else, move, touch the move icon in the bottom right corner. Touch this to change from investigation mode to movement mode. The places you can move to are the places indicated by red markers. Touch search after moving to go back into investigation mode. Incidentally, you're free to move to any location indicated by a red marker. This is a convenient way of moving since you can move a... Ah, excuse me. Since you can move a great distance with only a single touch, as always, you're quick to pick up on the finer points. I should say there's something unusual. In fact, I've never seen no hold of an accident as unusual as this one. Barton! Would you leave the talking to me? Yes, sir! Of course, sir! An unusual accident? Unusual in what way, precisely? Hmm. <laughs> Don't go concerning yourself with it. It's the job of the police to solve this case. You never know, Inspector. I may just be able to help you solve it. What are you saying? Even I don't have all the facts yet. Clues just aren't that easy to come by, you know. Unless you're Professor Leighton. Yes, we've got nothing so far. In fact, I'm sure we could use a helping hand. Oi, Barton! I thought I told you. I'll do all the talking. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Just a moment. Hmm. I've got it. Hey, Leighton. What is it, Inspector? I, uh, well... That's kind of creepy. <laughs> Look at the map and touch our desired location. That's right, isn't it, Inspector? That's right. Now, so now that you know what to do, why don't you go and take a look? Oh, but don't forget, if you find anything, be sure to come and let me know. We'll be waiting to hear from you. Professor, I think the unusual accident were the, they were talking about. Indeed. It could well have something to do with our own investigation. Let's go and take a look at the scene of the accident, Luke. We may find some clues. Right you are, Professor! Well... Okay, before we do that. 
When I hear back from them, I may just be able to make something of this case. With the backlog of cases I've got piled up, I have to take help where where I can get it. Where I can get it. Ah, British, tell me. Ah. We're not going to go there yet, because Barton, I think, has a extra puzzle we can do. Whoop. This is serious.